Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. I am doing a Madewell haul today. It has been years, years since I've done a clothing haul, let alone a Madewell haul on my channel. But I have been getting requests for hauls, clothing hauls, fashion content, and I'm not gonna lie, I have not been a fashionable person lately. Between pandemic, work from home, pregnancy, and postpartum, I have just been meh. Um, but I'm getting out of that and uh, I need new clothes. Um, I am in an in-between state, stage in my life, getting older, my body's different, I am bigger than I was and uh, I'm not sure if my size is ever going to go back, who knows. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but this is the body that I have now and um, it's, I keep looking at the clothes in my closet being like, I miss you, instead of just, you know, buying clothes and feeling happy in those ones. So that's what I did. I have an insane amount of stuff. Not everything came. So there'll be a part two about this. A lot of these are terrible and don't work, but some of these are great. So we're gonna go through those now. Um, Mangle does have a sale going on when this video will be going up, hopefully going up. So that's cool if you're searching for Madewell stuff because of the sale. So hopefully this will be helpful. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's, let's start with denim. Um, I ordered two pair of jeans that came this time around. Um, these are the, what, what ones are these? These are the Perfect Vintage Wide Leg Crop Jean. I love that Madewell has petites. Not everything comes in petite though. I wish it would. Um, but a lot of their jeans come in petite, which is great for me. I got these in a 26. I think for both of these, I might be able to get a 25, depending on, uh, you know, how much I've eaten. And I don't know if I want tight pants at this point in my life anyways. But these are really cute. I love the length of these. I rather like the uh, the fit. Are these both perfect? The perfect? Yes. <laughs> these are both the perfect vintage wide leg crop jean. I got one in um, the lighter wash is... Edmonds wash and then the other kind is Montclair wash. Um, the Montclair wash one feels a bit more stretchy. I'm gonna order a size smaller to compare how how I like the way they feel because this one does have a bit more stretch. I ordered a lot of things that kind of feel loungy but elevated loungy. One thing that is like straight up lounge set is this. This is, what is this called? The, this is Madewell's sweat brand called like Make Weekends Longer. This is a textured waffle uh, pant and I love this color, faded lavender. These pants do not look great on me. I do like this color though for me. I think it's quite pretty. Uh, and it has this matching hoodie. Um, I got the hoodie and the pants in a size small. Could definitely go down a size in these for sure. I like the sort of oversized cropped fit of this hoodie, but I think I'm gonna order an extra small to see how I like the feeling of that. But I think this could look super cute paired with jeans. These together, like, <laughs> I see people in like matching sweatsuits and they look super cute. To me, it looks like, I don't know, like I'm getting ready to retire in Florida. So not quite the stage of my life I want to be at just yet, but this is super cozy. So I'm gonna look into this in uh, another size. Another matching set that I picked up is this sweater, the Birchmore sweater pant shirt combo. I'll have like the actual names in the description box. Uh, but these fit so nicely. I find these so cozy. They're a nice length. They're not a petite, but they're like perfectly full length on me. So, uh, uh, taller person it'll be more of a crop but these are super cute I wish they had pockets because my inclination is always to like put my hands in my pockets 
I think these are really, really cute. I'm on the fence though, because just in terms of taking these out of the package, um, the, the dog hair in my house is just like magnetically drawn to it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if that's gonna like work out for me, but it has this matching top part that's super cute. I ordered um, it in a small, I might be able to get away with an extra small, and I actually picked up a different color, uh, this really pretty color, I think it's called Heather Jam. I really like the way these look. I like this tank top um, cut. I think it's really flattering. And with the way a lot of these jeans are with the higher waist, not too much stomach shows. So I don't feel exposed or like, you know, it's just like enough to like look cute and of the times. The only issue though is just in wearing it, it is like one of that like rolled, rolled uh, seam at the end that it could just like keep rolling um, and get kind of like funky, I think, looking with wear. Hopefully not, but really soft, forgiving in with the type of bra that you can wear with it because it is this like textured sweater material, which is nice to, you know, to get away with wearing whatever type of bra, which leads me well into this. This is another thing in that sort of like tank top cut that's super popular right now. This tank top, it is in the, another one of the, like the pretty lavender shades. Not quite the same as the jumpsuit, but um, yeah, I thought this could be really pretty. Uh, and it's a nice cut, really not something that you can get away with um, most bras. You need something that's like a smoother thing or to just embrace the no bra look, but it's also super long. So if you are not long in the torso, this is too long, too long. So this is a no, looks not great on me. Also in the tank top realm is the shirt I'm wearing right now. This, what was this called? Um, this is like the Patricia crop or something like that. Again, it's like kind of sweater material uh, I really like this I really like the neckline on this super cute I'm wearing it also with uh, these pull-on shorts that are in this really nice gauzy material very comfy I love the outfit that I have on right now it feels super cute these are the type of like elevated lounge that I'm going for right now in my life so these <laughs> Are obvious winners. Some things I am on the fence about, actually these are a no. These are of the same material as the shorts that I'm wearing. Um, these are the pull-on balloon pants in this shade Blue Horizon. I, I love this, this type of pastel sage green. It's really pretty, but um, balloon is not something I uh, feel cute in at the moment. These are very comfy, a nice length, but just not a silhouette that makes me feel confident. There's a good way of putting it. I did not intentionally go in to get a bunch of black tops, but I guess that's what I've drawn, drawn to. I really like this sweetheart neckline shirt. I find this sweetheart neckline to be like super flattering, uh, but also very um, forgiving for whatever type of bra or thing that you wanna wear underneath it. It's a ribbed, so again, very um, easily flattering and forgiving on the shape. I got this in a small. If I wanted an even like tighter, snugger fit, I could probably get away with an extra small, but I don't think I want something that clingy to my body. Something I do wanna order though in another size for sure is this super cute, super cute striped shirt. It is too, too much room. Uh, I think it needs to just overall be smaller. Hopefully the length of the extra small is significantly shorter uh, because the small is so long that trying to do any kind of tuck with it just keeps billowing out on top of itself. So it just like keeps looking bunched. But I love, I love this green. It's super cute. I got a pair of these 
curved hem shorts. I think they called them dolphin shorts. These very old school retro style of gym shorts. This type of cut here is really flattering and forgiving on the leg. Uh, again, I wish they had pockets just because of my inclination to put my hands in my pockets, but I think I'm gonna keep these hanging out in the house. Usually when I'm wearing something like this, I'm in like full garbage person, what I call my comfy uglies. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, these will be my comfy cutes instead of my, my trash person clothing time. Um, I got this set of stacking rings uh, I got these in a size seven to wear on on my uh, middle finger and my pointer finger. It's actually, these are too, too small to fit on my pointer finger, which is unfortunate, but I think these are super cute. Yes, I like this sort of vibes. And then this I'm on the fence about. I paired it with the sweater crop and I thought it looked really cute, but other stuff, it just, uh, I don't know. I'm looking at the viewfinder and I'm liking it quite a bit. So um, maybe I'll play with styling it with a, a couple more items before I'm like, yes, no. It's quite heavy, this necklace. And I like the sort of um, organic sort of shape to the clasp. And then there's this hat. This is a recycled cotton hat. Uh, in that sage green color. But I'm trying to be honest with myself if I'll actually wear it or if I'll just like wear it occasionally and take a photo and it'll mainly live in a drawer like a majority of my beanies. Actually, if my husband sees this, he's gonna steal it because he's always stealing my beanies. This shirt I think is super cute. This is one of their, I think it's one of their courier shirts called Hilltop. They have, they've had like a variation of these like button up oversized shirts that are short sleeve for several years. Some of them just like kind of drape differently. This, I love, I love these little embroidered guys on here. These flowers, they're so cute. I just don't think this is a good shape for me right now mainly because I'm wearing sort of baggier pants. So I want something a little bit more cropped, but to like balance out the shape of my outfits right now. So this will go back, even though I do think it's super cute. I, I actually just own also a bazillion things like this already. Uh, I'm not wearing those at the moment. So why add another one? And then lastly, these things are both super cute. Um, but just look funny on me, uh, especially this one. This is a, a coverall mini dress in vintage canvas. It's really a stiff, sturdy material, but this just kind of makes it look like I work at a diner, which is, you know, a cute look. And I'll also get this insanely dirty. I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased some of these things. I think I was just like eating up how cute they looked on the model and just like, um, what's the word, um, uh, vicariously or daydream fantasy, fantasy shopping. Um, and now I'm like back down to reality and it's just like, oh yeah, Lauren, you'll, you'll, you'll never wear this. Um, it'll sit in your closet. And then these, these are the, uh, loose flare overalls. These are super cute. Um, I was not paying attention to the inseam of these. Uh, they're super long, which I could get these altered, but um, the zipper on these, although it's just like such a cute silhouette, if you have boobs, um, these are going to be really hard to zip up. You're going to have to size up, but then the sort of cute, sort of tighter fit silhouette that goes on here that gives it that really cute vintage uh, retro vibe is gonna get kind of lost. If you have very, very little boob, this will work. If you have a lot of boob, you're gonna have to play with. So um, that's, that's it. No, one more. Uh, and then these, these look silly on me. I don't think these work for me at all. Uh, maybe I think if the sole wasn't so chunky, 
they would look super cute. Well, the chunky sole, I see some people and I'm like, that looks great on them. But I just feel like for me, it's like overpowering. That's it. It overpowers me. Super comfy though. I love Madewell shoes. All right, so that's it. That's the haul. Um, I hope this was helpful if you were interested in Madewell stuff at the moment. These are some of their newer items. And yeah, let me know if you want to see the part twos or just uh, styling combos, what have you. All right, I hope you all are doing well. Bye.